Starting things off with Dark. Sickest record in Pro League. 6-2. 2-0 versus Zerg. 4-1. And, and this guy has got that big up arrow for a reason. This guy said in one of his interviews that he wanted to become the new known SKT Zerg, the guy that everybody talked about. He has Sulky, he has Sue in front of him, but he's that third guy. He's right below. He's contributed to this scene before. He's gotten into that interview. That tells you a lot. So he wants this so badly. I know he's practiced a lot for this. Yeah. And when you have two players, Sue and Sulky, as your practice partners, your ZVZ is going to be pretty good. Pretty damn yep. good indeed. Now, Action is also on the rise. He's got a damn good record. He didn't play very often, but he's 6-3, and three, and also 2-0 versus Zerg. He's four out of five of his recent wins. Or four out of five recent games were wins. And this guy's not just good at acting. No. <laughs> Lights, camera, <laughs> action, true. man. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to see our predictions. I hope so. I think we should. I think we're about to. Maybe not. Looks like not. We're going to jump right into the game, guys. Zerg versus Zerg here at the SPL Grand Finals. Up here in the top right in the blue for SK Telecom, one of the Zergs we got here. It's dark. And there's a shot of him. Very cool keyboard, white and green. Some of the essential keys in white, and those other keys in green. Down to the bottom left in red for KT Rolster, famous for dressing up as King Kong in that ceremony with Flash. <laughs> Very, very famous ceremony. We saw it earlier on the commercial break. All right, so far, normal Overlord timings here for these two. That's no right. early pools. No cheesing in this game. And uh, just to just to be honest, I, I voted for action with my prediction here. What did you guys vote for exactly? I went for Dark. I, I did a little bit of an introduction to him while we were looking at his stats and stuff. I feel like he's he's one of the most driven players on SKT, and he has so many of those really good practice partners. I'm, I'm feeling the hype for this guy, even more so than Action. I feel like Action has a lot of hype himself as well, but I, I just feel it slightly more here for Dark. It's really close. I went for Action. Uh, you know, it was really hard for me, and so hard I couldn't even remember what I voted for. I had to go and check <laughs> yeah, it. me too. Um, and I did vote for action here, and the reason is I just have to give him a slight edge with the momentum he's pulled recently. Mm. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, Brennan, there's a lot better practice partners for Dark, and it's definitely a solid point for him here. It looks like we're going to see double hatch first, so yeah. totally mirrored here so far. A gentleman's agreement, some would say. Yes. Going for the greed, yeah. going for the hatch first, macro game. Let's see who's the greediest. Looks like an extra drone coming out here actually for action. Two. Mm. So he's going to be getting that early drone out. And kind of yeah. very, very fast pull for Dark. Kind of worried about any sort of nine pull shenanigans. Going to be kind of disappointed when he finds out the truth. But uh, oh, and we also see a gas. Yeah, put gas here. So if he wants to get early speed out, control the map. Could even do a speed link timing attack. I don't know if we'll see that. I don't think so. Well, it's highly possible. Definitely possible. I mean, it's going to be scouted, so... so uh, Dark is going to be very aware of it, and he's going to be very cautious about around the six minute mark. He's going to make sure he has that block. He's not going to get that third base too quickly because it will get denied very easily. And from there, he's going to have to wait and see when the gas timing is going to be for Dark specifically, <laughs> and if he's going to do any sort of counter mastlings later on. It's another shot of this crazy crowd. I saw Doa roar. Yeah, Doa is going saw crazy, that. man. <laughs> One of our awesome casters out here since 2011. He's casted StarCraft with me actually for many months uh, in the GSL, GSTL as well. Back in the days of like F United and uh, <laughs> you know Epix Open, OGS, OGS, uh, way back Pult when. Prime. Oh yeah, man. Slayers MMA. The days of Ganji. 
Ooh. Nada, <laughs> fruit dealer. Oh yeah, there's some some. That's some old school stuff, man. Bit some very bit. happy memories. Not quite bit by bit. He was before <laughs> our time, before we came to Korea. He fell out before then, but uh, back then, back in those days, way back when. And we do see the uh, the, the fast feelings being upgraded. So he, he will want that map control. He will want to make sure that Doc will not get an early third anytime soon. And from here, I'm sure we will see Doc get these uh, two assimilated, uh, sorry, two extractors pretty soon. He's already putting them down. Right. So very, very standard sort of timings for both players based on their buildings and openings. Except now that we see a very, very fast lair. What are you feeling on this? Uh, I think fast it's for roach speed or very, you... very fast roach speed is my opinion. Definitely not Mulus, right? With one gas, I, I would truly hope not because it would be, it'd be <laughs> simply not enough Mulus. Right. But you, know, you do see the roach one go down. But this opening scat is also very important. Yep. And he comes in here, sees the lair, so crucial. All just sees the lack of gas. It's so like you said, very clear. We're just going to see a fast roach speed at him. Now, will this most likely be for a timing, or do you think this is going to be uh, instead, perhaps uh, just you know, just to have that extra control, maybe poke at the third base, something like that? I think it possibly could have been a timing, but with that Zergling uh, scout, his plans are kind of ruined, and he's probably going to get, take a fairly early third from that. I mean, he, he can't really do much damage if Dark is already expecting it. He obviously knows that speed roaches are going to be out on the map really quickly. And we only just see the Roach Warren started for Doc, so yeah, he's very, very behind in terms of uh, Roach tech and Lair tech. Yeah. All he's been doing during this time is just setting up that defensive wall and droning like mad. We see so many drones out of this guy. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. Making five Roaches, he's got plus one in the speed. But at the same time, this drone is going to the gold base. He's taking a third at the gold. I think he's just going to rally speed roaches constantly, aggressively, nonstop once he gets that gold base up and that extra mineral flow. Yeah, and I think he might main out some, uh, some drones to that third base and continue to pressure with such uh, a mineral advantage. This is a really interesting style, and I'm, I'm actually really liking it. He also knows his opponent doesn't have Ling speed, which makes punishing this uh, gold base taken this early and, and actually unscouted, to my knowledge, uh, is, is, is going to be very difficult to do. He's going to have that base yeah. up pretty easily. I mean, it's, it's simply going to be impossible, and I mean, his road speed is so far behind, and his plus one attack is so far behind. He's going to have a lot of trouble in these early engagements, and he's going to have to be very defensive, and he won't be able to take his third very safely. And he doesn't even know that this gold base is yeah, going up. Yeah, he has up. no scout, right? I, 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 I know my screen's not as crisp as yours, but yeah, it doesn't look like he has <laughs> a scout over there at all. But uh, I mean, at the same time, he probably saw that drone going up towards the gold base, which would give him a tell of what's exactly going on. So he might have an idea, unless he made a mistake and missed it. Yeah. He may have done just that. He's making an overseer right now. He wants to go scout the main. All right, this is a lot of roaches here. And he's moving across with them. Remember, they're going to have plus one and speed much faster. And he's going to hit with this really hard right now at the third base. The spine crawler alone is not going to be enough. He's got queens over here for transfuses. I think he will hold. Well, that is very stressful here. Yeah, he should hold from this, but at the same time, we have a droned up gold base, so he's going to have a, such an advantage with economy, and he can go into a 200 pop sort of aggression anytime he wants. But from there, he's just going to start applying pressure, picking up roaches where he can, kind of going for a bit of a trade here. Cannot take this fight full on, though. All the right. upgrade's here just about to finish for Dark. He's about to get his 1-1. One -one. He does have the speed. That is the one thing he does have over action right now. I mean, he's getting farther and farther behind the more this gold base is up, but he does have that armor. But again, it's not the most important thing in this matchup, especially with the roaches. No. Plus two coming out very quickly here for action. I mean, he's, you know, he's getting it almost halfway done here. And he's just got all that extra gold base money to keep making roaches, roaches, and more roaches. I mean, the thing about ZVZ right now, like you said uh, earlier, Moonlight, is ZVZ is just roaches, 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 more roaches. Like, people are going to... Uh, get a roach warren, and then they're going to make a lot of roaches. Now, the other thing you got to make is drones. you got to balance your economy. But once you get a balanced economy, and it's better than your opponents, you know, uh, it doesn't take a mad scientist to, to you know, to do a bunch of crazy experiments to figure out <laughs> that if you have more money than your opponent consistently, you're going to be able to produce more roaches. And generally exactly. speaking, more roaches win ZBZ. Exactly. I mean, once you have that, that clear advantage early on, and you snowball early on enough, and you go for that max sort of uh, aggression with an upgrade advantage, which we're going to see for sure, it, it could definitely uh, just end the game straight away. That contaminate on the plus two is so important because oh, yeah. he absolutely needs that. He knows he's buying upgrades. 
And he needs to just keep slowing that down. I almost would like to almost see a sport crawler right there. Like, yeah, uh, I love seeing sport crawlers at Evos. Actually, it's such a good idea, and it can really deflect a lot of uh, uh, contamination. I mean, you'll usually get it off anyways, but it's like it's it starts to become pretty expensive every time you have to make an overseer and send it in there like that. Absolutely. And one thing we got to talk about on this map is the positions and kind of like the choke points what you can defend in, which is going to play a big part, especially in Roach vs. Roach. The concave, the most important thing. Seeing Hydra up being upgraded is also a big, big deal for action. He really will need that if he wants to kind of bulldoze through this army. So I'm actually really, really liking action's position here, and he's got to be aggressive from this. He's got to be. All right. That uh, gold base now no longer contaminated. Get those injects off. Uh, can you check the roach count for me, Moonglade? I know we've Absolutely. seen Hydra's added in here now. 52 to 63 in favor right now of action, but uh, there's obviously a lot of Hydra's being added in here. Um, actually, excuse me, the, the favor goes to, uh, to Dark, but there's a lot of Hydra's being added in for action. That's and right. this is his moment to be aggressive. He, with that roach count, 70 roaches, the plus yeah. two. Yeah, it's about that plus two as well. The plus two for Dark right now is not up. If he goes for the attack right now, it'll be huge. Looks like he wants to. This is going to be such a bad concave to deal with, though. I don't think he should take this. He should go around the other side. And here we go. Dark's pushing it. He wants this fight. He wants this fight. Let's see if the hydras in the back are worth it. Doing a lot of extra damage here, but the concave is strong. Beyond that, he's got a lot of queens here. And both players remaxing as fast as they can with that bank. The better bank, though, definitely going to action. Oh, wow. These hydras are doing so much work, and there's still enough roaches at the front. He might actually have enough DPS to go through this army of virtues. It's looking like he does. Now he's on creep, pushing his way through. Wants to go to the heart here. Can he stop the plus two? No, not quite. It looks like it will finish, but he contaminates it. It's not done, but this army will be pushed back. These roaches are just too tanky. Or am I wrong? Uh, I think he, he overcommitted. He, he overcommitted way too far. He simply did not have enough roaches with these hydras. But his reinforcements, Moonglade, look at that supply at the top right. Mm, that's the next true. wave is the scary part, and here they come. And he still has that upgrade advantage. Now plus two finishes. But it's been so long, it's, oh, this whole fight, he hasn't had it. Absolutely. Uh, you never. You, it's so hard to take a fight with that plus two when your opponent does. And there's simply just too many roaches here, too much damage already on Doc's army. He's trying to push his way through. Worker count actually still in favor, though, of his opponent. Now, is he going to break this? It, with the upgrades now equalized and that defender's advantage, I think he has to turn around. He yeah. also has the plus one armor. Do not forget about that. It's a small, small detail in there, but he still has it. We do see it just now started here for action, but it's going to be a bit late. And keep in mind, Action had Hydras during that whole fight. He had the plus two for so much longer, and still somehow Dark was able to hold that off with that defender's vantage. He did have those queens for the transfuses. He had the better concave, so that is what he had going for him. He stays in this game. He but stays that gold in this base, game. that gold base is gonna run out eventually. Yeah, it's it's actually starting, it's probably about halfway gone already. I mean that thing doesn't last very long. Mm. The minerals mine out fast and the crystals give you less. There's less patches, so it doesn't last forever. As you can see, those patches are already starting to get pretty low. Absolutely. But one thing we gotta also note is that the uh, action is still on Hydra Tech and he's still making Hydras, which is gonna be such an advantage for the next fight as well. And we haven't seen Dark evolve at all. He hasn't gone into Hydra, he hasn't gone into Baneling. He needs one or the other if he wants to counteract this army. He cannot beat it with Roach alone. Yeah, if, if, you're, if we're talking about 150 plus supplies uh, of Zerg units here, the Roaches will never always be able to fire, but the Hydras will because they have that range, and that's exactly what Moonglade's talking about. If you got something to tank for Hydras, those glass cans in the back doing that extra damage. Exactly. Both players, by the way, on point about these contaminates, seeing it left and right from both sides. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that was also one of the major factors that came into stopping this push from action. Is we saw three uh, three corruptors go into every base and contaminate the hatchery while this was all happening, which really slowed down production, which which is why action had such a bank at the end of that fight. Well, he's got a massive lead in, in supply right now. He's about to have the armor. Do you think it's time for him to go ahead and take another engagement? Absolutely. And, and beyond that, should, should he go for the heart again, or should he try to have a good angle at the third? I think, he should, do, think is more appropriate? he should go from fourth to third. I think that'd be much better, considering there's less creep, less time for them to react, and less of a less, less of a place to kind of re-pop. Because when you're fighting at the natural like that, you have roaches coming in during the fight. All right, he's trying to get his way up here. Can he get up the ramp? 
He's a bit timid, but he has secured the high ground. Roach is coming from behind to try to snipe those Hydras, but they need to come in. The Hydras in the back doing so much extra damage. He's got some Roaches over here to tank for them as well. But a con game is obviously much better for Dark. This looks like it might be so just too many Roaches here. He's going to hold, but that Max, that Remax with that extra money, it's just looking like Action just wins the game. There's just too many Hydras. There's too much DPS. Up 60 population now. And he's going to crush what's left. And this is going to be game. It's going to be game. Action's taking it. KT is going to be up three games. Up three games indeed. He just has so many more reinforcements. He doesn't want to fight with his Hydras alone. He wants to wait so he can get those Roaches back with his army so they've got some tanks for them in the front. So many of those Roaches actually for Dark are in the low health right now. And I mean, such an advantage here. Up 42 Roaches. And he, has, he he's simply has too much at this point. And GG! GG. Action wow. does it, man. Uh, I can't believe KT might just be about to win this with one more ZBZ. It's one more. It's one away. Of course, SKT does have C for the next one, but still, anything can happen. Action is able to take down Dark. And what is Action going to do here? Oh, he's fishing for something. <laughs> What's he got? He's got something. What's he got? Uh... Oh, he caught the trophy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving these ceremonies today. Oh, wow. I wonder if we'll have a Firebat Hero-esque ceremony later. Because, you know, nothing nothing says classic to me like ripping his clothes off and jumping into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for that ceremony, and what better place than on the Han River? Hey, you guys feel me, right? Classic seems like totally the guy to somewhere come out of left field, <laughs> rip his clothes off, and dive into the river. I'm thinking so, man. I, I definitely believe it. All right, well. KT now one win away from that victory, but with Sue heavily favored going to the next match, I'm really feeling like we're going to see an ace match. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling, even though it's a 3 1 score right now, I think, I think SK can bring it back. I believe it. I believe it for sure. And Sue is definitely the person to make that happen. Sue and Classic, both such heavy hitters for SKT, have done so much work during the Pro League. I definitely think it's going to be favoring Sue for this next match. Sleep, a great player. I've always loved his style, but he's never really like hit the top. He's never really made it happen against the best players. So he's going to have to really bring something out. But I mean, it is ZBZ at the same time, and anything can happen. It's actually getting crazy, crazy, man. Like... Dark, you can, you can see the pressure getting to him a little bit there. He's like... Obviously very, very affected by this one. By the way, I did this again. This is my second time. I got a lot of upset people messaging me right now. I called uh, Bass Leda again. This is the second time I've done this. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I followed StarCraft 1 uh, Pro League more than I followed StarCraft 2's Pro League until this season. Like, I watched a lot of it last season. Um, but I was more focused on the higher level StarCraft, which was, which was obviously at the time um, the GSTL. But that's changed now. Regardless, my mistake, we're going into what could be the last map of the night after a quick commercial break. Stay tuned.